Hello, my name is David Benheim, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Power BI's drill through method, including my recommendations for setting up a clear filters bookmark, and also how to use it with a new action button feature that just got released this year. So firstly, what is drill through? That means that you can click on one field and it says right click to drill through. And then I can choose where to drill through to. And this is actually the name of a page. It's the name of this page here. So I can click on that to drill through there. And then it applies the filters that I'd selected in that province and is now showing me the data for that place. Now this is in general what drill through is, but here I can see in the filters, it says that it is showing me Crache when the drill through is used as category and now it's selected that one. Now what I don't like about this is that from a user perspective, let's say that they want to just sort of go back to another place. If they click on another one here, this will actually break it because now Power BI is actually filtering here for Stung Treng and here for Crache. So the cross filter means that there's no data, which is why I think it's pretty essential to have this clear filters thing if you want the user to be able to navigate to another parameter. So this is a bookmark. I'll show you how to add that later. You can click on it and then it goes away. Uh, also, by adding a drill through page, you automatically get this back button. On Power BI Desktop, you need to control click, but on Power BI Online, you just click and then it just takes you back to this one. Another thing I like to do when I have drill through is have this just a kind of button that just shows you you can drill through with this. So I'll show you how to add that. I just kind of manually make this so that you can put it there. Uh, and then the other thing that I'll show you how to do is something like this. So this is a brand new feature that just got launched, which means that you can create a drill through as a button. And as you can see, I have preset the text saying province drill through, but if I, and then set it as this question mark, and that's manual, but what's automated is if I hover over it, it says this text to drill through, uh, select a single data point from province. So. This is grayed out, but if I select something from province, it's now not grayed out, and now I can control click to go to it. So that is uh, another one that I'll show you. So um, how do you add a page as drill through? Firstly, you just sort of create your page, however that is. For example, I'll do it in this one, who to blame. And here, I'm going to just click on the outside of the page, that's no visual selected. And then here I see the page settings and then in drill through, which comes out by default at the bottom, you can just drag a field in here. So I'm going to drag in province. So just the same one, and then I'll add in a new one as well. So that's going to be in here. And then what happens is you automatically get this back button. So that goes in automatically. You can delete it if you want. It is a button where the action is just go back. So it is kind of useful for this drill through setting. And then we have here by default, it says allow drill through when it's used as category or summarized that is made into an implicit measure. In fact, I never use that. I would use used as category here. And if you add another one, for example, and cover this one, then you can also just add that into here. And that will show it there as well. You can also add a measure though. So for example, I can add number of communes in here. Uh, and then it's showing the measure. This symbol means it's measure. So with this one, as you might expect, you can't choose use this category or otherwise. And the other difference is that the keyboard filters is on by default when you have a measure. So if I exclude that, then I can choose whether or not to keep all filters. I would normally just turn that on anyway, because that means that if people have a filter in another thing through a slicer or through a highlighted area, then it would just keep those filters. Uh, cross report, this is more advanced. If you have another report on Power BI Online only that has the same data set, you can actually drill through to another report that's maybe made more for that instance. So this is more advanced and I don't tend to use it that much, 
But what I do love using is this one. So I'm going to add communes back and we'll see how that works. So now if I go back to my first one in drill demo, now if I right click on one of these, I can choose drill through and go to the who to blame tab, which I now set as a drill through tab. How do you get rid of them? In exactly the same way, you go to the one that you've preset and you just press an X button on anything that you don't want to work there. It does still keep this back icon, so you have to manually delete that, but that's how you essentially do it. I'm going to keep that. So I'm gonna add it back in here. So we'll see how that interacts with things later on. So next is how to add something like this. Now, this is an image. I'm gonna do it through a button, which, but it's essentially the same process. So essentially the one that I just added here, this is now the drill through page. So let's say that I have, I'm going to add a filter for province. So add that sort of on the side like that and make it a slicer. So now let's look at how to set up an instance of clearing the filters. So let's say that I want to give the user the option to, once he's in this, also choose between a different province. Now, if you are a more advanced Power BI user, you probably know that you can clear the filter there and then choose another one from the slicer. But the point is we want to make this accessible for people that don't have this functionality known to them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the view tab and then choose the bookmarks here. And I'm going to add a bookmark that is based on this. So first I need to set my page how it was. So make sure in this case that you clear the filter of this. So if this is what you had selected, then clear the filter there. And then once you've got what you've set it as, remember that this will be dependent on the measure. So if you want, for example, emissions uh, like this, then you can set it up however you want, then you click add. And this is double click to rename. This is going to be who to blame, emissions in blackets, clear filters, like that. And then what you wanna do is you want to add a button here. So in the insert tab, you can choose buttons this one probably is the best reset, although I use a picture because I think this is not that obvious either. I'm going to put it over here next to the slicer. And then here what I do is I'm going to say that there's an action on. And that action is going to be a bookmark. And the bookmark is going to be the who to blame emissions clear filters button. You can do all sorts of things here. You can add some text. You can change the icon. So the default state is that, but on hover, it's going to be in red, et cetera, et cetera. And then on press, you can have a different thing. So now if I hover over it, you see it's red. It's not gonna do anything now, but just to show you if I click on that and click on this, and then also click on a point in this table. Then if I hover over this and control click, note that it will get rid of all those filters, restore this to emissions. Uh, note that it does say control click to follow link. That is in Power BI desktop. In Power BI online, this will need to be just a click will do it like that. Uh, as I said, what I often try and do is just sort of add this more visual image. So an icon I get from the noun project, but in that you can set an action to an image the same way that you can set it elsewhere. And finally, how does it work with this one? So this brand new thing. So this is another button action. So what I can do is I can insert a button and let's have this help one here. And then just put it somewhere. You can add the text sort of here. I'm going to say uh, drill through province. 
and then put it on sort of this side. The annoying thing is it's kind of hard to get it to not overlap the icon. The best way that I am able to do it is to do it on top like that and then in the center. That's what I've done here. But then you need to sort of have this wasted space. <laughs> so once you do that, then you can set the action on to be a bookmark, sorry, to be a drill through. And then what is the drill through? It is going to be the who to blame tab. And then you can choose, this is only for options for this one, enable tooltip and disable tooltip. I like the defaults though, it says drill through to the page and then single select from data points that is relevant. And it's grayed out when it's not possible, but once you click on something, it is possible. And then you can control click like before. And then this clear filters button will allow you to then choose from one of these once you're already in there without having to go back and then come here again. Uh, oh, last thing that I did is just sort of in this page, I just created a button like this again put this next to it and then text on hover. So text on hover, you need to do it in the actions button. So we need to put it to have an action and then it has to have a tooltip. So the tooltip I'm going to say is, uh, means you can drill through. So then when you hover over it, you get that. Uh, unfortunately that means that it is kind of <laughs> clicked to get to something, but that's how you do it. Because it's not very obvious, just this right click to drill through here. All right, so that is pretty much everything about drill through pages. If you like this video, then I've got tons more about all of your favorite computer software and how to get better at that. Please click on the subscribe button for more great content. Thanks for watching.